welcome back students now let us come back and analyze group 4 radicals so when i have to speak about group 4 radicals what are the radicals which are present in group 4 basically group 4 radicals include nickel group 4 radicals include cobalt group 4 radicals include mn plus 2 and zn plus 2 here what is the uh, okay let us write these are the radicals and what is the group reagent so the group reagent is here H2S gas in which one in presence of in presence of NH4Cl and ammonium hydroxide done right. so here very well know the group reagent after adding the group reagent to this particular salt has the respective cations will be getting different different color precipitates and here they are going to cations are going to precipitate in the form of what sulfides right they will be precipitating as sulfides in group 4 suppose if I take nickel nickel it will precipitate as nickel sulfide what is the color of nickel sulfide it is a black ppt after you add this if you get a black ppt it is the cation will be nickel next one more copper sulfide this also forms black ppt after this manganese sulfide you will be getting a buff colored buff colored ppt next zinc if zinc is present zinc sulfide you will get a white ppt white ppt right so this is the thing now let us take how are we forming means how is <coughs> how are these uh, formed and how are we going to proceed further so when i have to take this combination see here nickel your um, okay let us go with aluminium okay, let us go with this combination only because if i do again it will be mixed up so these are the cations which i have to test for so we will take nickel and cobalt this is in copper sulfide this is cobalt sulfide these two first we'll test for these two first what you're going to do you're going to take now i'm testing both so we'll do the confirmatory test because i got the ppt now i'll be doing the confirmatory test so for which one for nickel as well as cobalt ni plus two and co plus two so first i'll do First, I'll take the precipitate. I'll wash the precipitate of both with water and dissolve this precipitate in aqua regia. Okay, what is the step one? You have to wash the precipitate with water. Then, what you should do? You have to dissolve this in dissolve in aqua regia. What is aqua regia? It is. A mixture of concentrated HCl and nitric acid or you can also take concentrated HCl in the presence of potassium chlorate not a problem now or concentrated HCl in presence of KCl O3 done so you can take this uh, once you get that you, you can extract the residue whatever is there you can extract the residue with water so next step is you'll be extracting extract the residue with water right so this is the confirmatory test so what is the reaction which is involved in this we will see now i said let me take out this page done so here metal sulfide and can be nickel or n can be cobalt so i'm going to take metal sulfide i'm going to add hcl to this right and then this is oxygen which is which is produced from the potassium chlorate so this is concentrated and you want to heat it this forms mcl2 plus water and 
Understood, students? Yes. So the, this is for the nickel and cobalt because this may be asked for viva question for you all. So careful. Done. Fine. One more thing which you can do for nickel and one more for cobalt. Simple, simple one. I'll tell you. So let us take reaction two. Let us take one. Suppose if you have nickel chloride. If you add sodium hydro bicarbonate to this and you heat, you'll be getting nickel carbonate, NaCl, water plus carbon dioxide. And to this nickel carbonate, further, if you are adding sodium hydroxide and nascent oxygen, which you are getting from bom bromine water. We will be getting a black PPT of nickel oxide. This is a black PPT and sodium carbonate water extra. Here same thing cobalt chloride if you add any HCO3 and sodium hydroxide directly and you are heating this. You get sodium chloride plus cobalt chloride as also cobalt carbonate plus water. done so to this cobalt carbonate if you add sodium carbonate and you're heating it what you'll be getting you'll be getting a complex of this that is Na4 CO CO3 taken thrice and this complex further when you it with nascent oxygen means nascent oxygen you take this Na4 CO is CO3 nascent oxygen and when you treat it with sodium bicarbonate this is going to form a green precipitate of this complex this is a green PPT which confirms <coughs> that cobalt is present. So this is your um, co co nickel is over, cobalt is over students. Now let's come back and learn with manganese. Confirmatory test for manganese. So let us write confirmatory test for manganese. So basically manganese it dissolves in diluted HCl. That's the first test. So you're going to take the sulfide of this, you're going to dissolve it in HCl. Then you get manganese chloride in H2S. There is one more. Further, you can take this manganese chloride and you can dissolve it in sodium hydroxide. This manganese chloride will get converted to manganese hydroxide. And to this manganese hydroxide, if you are for the introducing nascent oxygen, where do we get? We got it from bromine water. You will be getting manganese dioxide. This manganese dioxide is a black PPT. Black or brown. Black or brown PPT. This is one confirmatory test of it. Further, if I have to do the confirmatory test for manganese, you can also add nitric acid. Now, let's see the confirmatory test for zinc. Confirmatory test for zinc. You're going to take zinc sulfide, you're going to add HCl to this. So, what will you get? You get zinc chloride plus this is dilute HCl basically. What will you get? You get zinc chloride plus H2S. Now to the zinc chloride, we will be adding sodium hydroxide. Zinc combines with sodium hydroxide forming zinc hydroxide, which is a white PPT. And NaCl. Done. This white PPT confirms the presence of zinc. 
to the same uh, zinc this one zinc hydroxide further if you add the white ppt whatever is there excess of sodium hydroxide i'm going to add excess of NaOH then i'll be getting Na2 ZnO2 this is sodium zincate and water so this is soluble in excess of sodium hydroxide when you add this precipitate is soluble in excess of sodium hydroxide so this confirms the presence of zinc you can also take one more test that is when you take the sodium zincate when you introduce this with H2S you'll be getting sodium hydroxide plus zinc sulfide which precipitate out this is a white PPT so this white PPT also confirms this white PPT also confirms the presence of zinc so this is a group of four radical students let me come back and meet with group five radicals thank you for watching